I'm going to give you some ideas for how we can take back control. And as Chamath Palahapatiya talked about, we do need to do some soul searching, right? It is up to us to decide to take back control. We need to ask ourselves what we want to pay attention to. As I talked about, that's because our lives are what we pay attention to. And the thing is that if we don't define what we want to pay attention to, they are going to steal our attention from us. It is up to us. So how do you do that? Well, I encourage you to start thinking for yourself and also talk with your friends and with your families about questions like this. Like, what do you like about smartphones and apps? And what do you want to keep using them for? Because again, they're not all bad. There's plenty of good stuff on there. I, I mean, I noticed no one said that their most time-sucking app was Google Maps, right? Like, no one's like, oh, I can't look away. 45 minutes. Um, how are they contributing to your life? Because keep that stuff. What do you not like? What feels like a waste of time? What feels like it's keeping you from something you actually care about? How can you reduce the time you spend on that stuff? What do you wish you could change about your own habits or somebody else's? Because there actually are many ways you can change your own habits. It just takes conscious thought to recognize it and start to think about it. But also, start talking to other people. Like, how does other people's use of their phones make you feel? Could you talk to your friends about that? Be like, hey, I actually feel really disrespected when you have your phone out when we're together because it makes me feel like you don't care about what I'm saying. Or tell your parents. So many parents have told me what a wake-up call that was to hear from their kids like, hey, you're telling me I have a problem with my phone. You're on your phone all the time and it makes me feel horrible. That's devastating as a parent. I also wanted to give you an idea for an exercise. I actually have these little cards and bands that I made to help people remember to do this. It's a little exercise called what for, why now, what else. And I have these little phone bands you can put around your phone if you want to. If you have a small wrist, it actually can be a bracelet that says what else. But the idea is you put something around your phone, could be a rubber band, whatever, just so that when you pick up your phone on autopilot, you notice that you picked up your phone, because that's one of the big problems is it's autopilot. And then you ask yourself these questions. So you ask yourself, like, what did you pick up your phone for? Like, what was your purpose? Did you have a purpose? Um, then ask yourself, why now? Like, why are you picking up your phone right now? Is it because you really needed to do something? Like, it's your friend's birthday and you wanted to send them a birthday text? Or is it because there's some emotional reason? Like, you felt a little anxious or uncomfortable in a social situation and you reached for your phone. Or everybody else is on their phone, so you reached for your phone. Or you're feeling lonely, and so you went on social media because everyone knows we feel better when we go to social media to find affirmation and love. <laughs> and then once you figure that out, ask yourself what else. What else could you do in that moment to give yourself that same thing? So you know, if you're feeling lonely, maybe call a friend or talk to a real life friend instead of going to social media. You might decide you don't want to do anything and you actually just want to be in the moment, which the ranch is a great opportunity to do. And honestly, you might decide you want to stay on your phone, even if it's for something mindless. You might be like, I want to be on TikTok right now. That's totally fine. It's not judgmental. It's just making sure it's a conscious choice so it's your decision and not somebody else's.